Hello, I'm Troy Harmon. This is Nick Antonucci, and this is your market update for November 2017 from Hensler Financial. Nick, let's dive right in. Uh, how about some housing information? Housing market continues to look strong, Troy. We saw new and existing home sales both tick up in the month, and they're up year over year. And we see home prices, as measured by the Case Shiller Home Price Index, continue to move higher as well. So for you homeowners out there, that's great news for you. You're seeing your net worth tick up. If you're not a homeowner and you're still in the market, it's still a great time to buy, we think. Although prices are elevated, the cost to buy a home, the financing costs, mortgage rates remain historically low. So it's not too late to get in there. And uh, probably if, if you haven't, you need to consider it. Yeah, prices in the market seem healthy at this point, so it's not like a not bubble. Not like bubble levels, yeah, no. Right, yeah, so pretty good. Uh, how about some employment situation? Uh, we've seen the numbers rise for quite a long time now. Uh, unemployment actually falling to 4.1%. Uh, I mean, that's better than, pretty much full employment, I, I would say. Uh, yeah, I think it's better than most people's indication of full employment. Sure. But, uh, uh, still good news. Helps you buy that house that we were just talking yeah, about. Yeah, because you're seeing a tightening, which is driving wages up, which is something we've been waiting several years to really see. We saw a tick up of 0.4% right. last month. Yeah, so the first step possibly toward inflation that we've been expecting for a long time. Speaking but of still, inflation? Not, a, not too bad. Uh, yeah, how about it? The Fed. Yeah. Uh, we got the latest FOMC minutes out of the Fed, their latest meeting. They didn't hike rates, which we didn't expect them to anyway, so right. not a big surprise there. Um, and what they did do is elaborate a little bit on the plan to unwind the balance sheet. We're going to see uh, $10 billion in securities roll off the balance sheet every month. Right. And every three months, they're going to increase that a little bit until they hit $30 billion of securities each month. So it's yeah. going to be a drawn out process. The Fed's goal here is to do it in a, in a very subtle way. Yeah, no drama. That's, that's their big thing. I uh, don't want to drive interest rates one way or the other, just try to unwind the balance. Don't want to scare the consumer, which is our yeah. final talking point in terms of the past month. Absolutely. Consumer looks strong. Yes. Consumer absolutely. sentiments at multi-year highs. There's two components there. There's how consumers feel about the current situation in the economy, and then it gauges their, their opinions on the their future. Expectations. Exactly. Yeah. Both look really strong multi-year highs. Yeah, what, three years, uh, best in three years for the expectations. Yeah. Good stuff. How about some valuation? We'll talk about what we think uh, goes on going forward. We still sure. get the questions about, should I sell my stocks and go to cash? And obviously, our answer is always going to be no. Uh, we do believe, though, that it's a good time to evaluate your situation. If you've got identifiable cash needs, um, we expect that you should set aside uh, ample cash and fixed income. Yeah, if you need to raise those. liquidity, you and sell some out of stocks, move that into fixed, take right. a little bit of risk off the table. Yeah, for several months now, we've been calling for rebounds of the portfolio. Uh, you know, some of the things that have outrun the market, uh, we've got uh, technology technologies up huge uh, in the year, over, what, 25%? Oh, yeah, more than that. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's far outstripped the market. It's probably time to pair some of that back. I'm sure it's out of weight, uh, you know, out of weight. Overweight. Sure, and rebalancing doesn't just mean moving from uh, equities to fix. As Troy mentioned, it could be just rebalancing your equity portfolio to get more in line with where the sectors are right now. Other aspects that we want to check out, Yeah, economic fundamentals. Yeah, the economy still looks very strong. There's not really anything that's faltering. You know, you have a lot of people calling that, oh, you know, a recession's uh, on the horizon. A recession's always going to be sometime on the horizon, but <laughs> fundamentals, we think, look strong, and the economy's going to chug along uh, yeah. through the remainder of the year. We don't see any indicators that are basically signaling that we have uh, a pending uh, recession. recession. Sure. So, you know, things are good. Then the final point. The Fed. The Fed. And... As we've talked a little already, didn't get a rate increase. They do want this non-drama kind of unwind of the balance sheet, uh, but we do expect higher rates going forward. We do. Um, we expect a rate increase in December. There's a 92% likelihood that that actually does happen. Um, it would be a shock if it didn't at this point. Uh, right, yeah. With 92% expectation in the market. Right. And then on, on the long end, that's short-term rates. Right. Um, on the long end, you see the unwinding of the balance sheet, as we mentioned. And the expectation there is that you'll start to see a steepening of the yield curve as those roll off. Our expectation is probably that you're not going to probably see more of a flattening yeah. um, because you have so much foreign interest in, in treasuries coming in and, and buying up the long end of the curve, pushing those, uh, those prices up and those yields down. Yeah, Europe's still in the midst of their quantitative easing, right? Right. All right, well, this has been your market update for November 2017 from Hensler Financial. Thank you for watching.